first and foremost, I want to begin by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shah is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world knows as Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I want to say shalom to the hopeful elect. And this is another message, you know, just about wars and rumors of war. And I got an article that I'm going to go in, but I'm going to start right here in Mark 13 and 7. Uh, matter of fact, I'm starting at uh, 13 and 4. Tell us, Mark 13 and 4, tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And Yahweh Shai answering them began to say, take heed. Lest any man deceive you. You see? Man, you got a lot of that going on now, man. You know, like the dude, uh, Ronald Dalton, the Hebrews to Negro documentary, the nigga. You know, you got a lot of people believing, you know. Jaffet the white man and, you know, um, we got to flee from America. Hey, that's him. That's, that's one example, you see. And, hey, many ways, like the elder was going into, um, Anything that you follow after, that's your doctrine, man. Like, if you following after thinking you're going to be an athlete, that's a doctrine that you follow, man. You're being deceived by these things, you know. Yeah, verse 6, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. You see, and you even got the small hats over there talking about the Messiah has returned. Hey, you, you devil's going to eat them words, man. You see. Um, verse 13, I mean, it's like verse 7. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows, and we see all these nation against nation. You got um, Russia versus Ukraine, China, Taiwan. Uh, you got some called the Tigrayan and uh, Ethiopian um, war that's going on. You see, that's not even spoke about as much. Um, hey, earthquakes in diverse places. You just had an earthquake to kill 162 people. Hey, all these things are taking place. You see it. Uh, another article, they had to kill... Uh, so many chickens um, because of bird flu, man. This just came out like today or yesterday, you know. But hey, but the topic, you know, was about the wars and rumors of wars. You know, rumor just a report uh, about the nations against nations. You got America in the midst of it. It's a Russia, China join forces against push to punish Iran. And you got um, it's the UN, you know, in America. You know, by way budding in people business, trying to, you know, punish Iran. But you got Russia and China, hey, they rhyme with Iran. You know, they backing them, you see? And that's just to show, hey, the Lord's word is, is, is true. You know, I ain't going to read the whole article, but I just wanted this heading, though. Like China and Russia, they backing Iran, you see? Because a, a lot of protests have been going on over there, and they trying to... um you know, come up against Iran saying they, they, they treat their people wrong. But look how America, you know, treat the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see? Look what's going on over here in the United States, and you don't see nobody, you know, putting sanctions on us. George Floyd, for instance. You see, and every, uh, uh, Trayvon Martin, all, every, you know, so-called Jake and Latino, you know, Hispanic, Native American that's been gunned down by law enforcement for no reason. And and you don't see no sanctions being being brought on America. It's just a, it's, it's ultimately, uh, it's got to be a, a greater motive, and, you know. And that's a, the lawyer, how about Shimei al Shai returning, man? He, he the one stirring up these things like that, you see? Yeah, but going back to the, um, yep. Second Edris 15 and verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them be written 
and paper, for they are faithful and true. You see, hey, the Lord said he going to put these words in our mouth, you know, the words of prophecy, because they are faithful and true, man. And, you know, and this is the spirit of Yahweh Shai. You see? That's what we're here to do. We're here to prophesy. You see? And this uh, Revelations 19 and 10. Uh, yeah, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And as we coming in, we coming in the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man. These are not our words. These are the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Words are the words from on high, man. We are uh, heralding in our Lord Yahweh Shai. We are declaring the end of this place, man. You know, by any moment, we any small, you know, article, it can say, you know, anything about food war. Hey, we own it, man. If there's the spirit of prophecy. You see, the Lord just said it's going to be earthquakes in diverse places, famine, a hey, pestilence, all this. You see, and we telling you about these things. You see, well, verse 2, Ezra 15 and 1 again. Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. You see, and this I will cause them to be written by the way of recording. You see, putting it, putting it on wax. You see, and while um back to this um this title of this article say Russia, China join forces against push to punish Iran. You see, they join forces because guess what? They're gonna all take part in World War Three, man. You see, World War Three, hey um, hey, it's on the horizon, man. It's just any any given moment the way that Russia invaded, um. Uh, Ukraine, hey, this place is going to be invaded, man. You see? Hey, and, and it can just happen any day now. World War Three can just pop off any day now. We're just waiting on it. But this is um, Ezekiel 38 and verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against them, you see, and Gog and Magog will be Russia today. Uh, continuing on, verse three, and say, "Thus saith the Lord Yahweh: Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Verse four, I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses." All thine army, horses, and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Hey, this is the Lord, a hey, he host of the um the Lord host of Lord muster of the host of the battle. And this is what he basically he telling he telling um, you know, these Russians, you know, Gog and Magog. In the NLT, I will turn you around and put Hooks in your jaws to lead you out with your whole army, your horses, and charioteers in full armor and a great herald um, armed with shields and swords. You see, it says Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. And Persia, that will be Iran today. You see, uh, continuing on, verse 6 Gomer and all his bands. And there will be Turkey today, the house of Togomar, of the North Quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee. Hey, this World War Three man, how he gonna, you know, he how he gonna hold uh, the Lord muster of the host of the battle. You know, Salaki, verse 7. Be thou prepared, and prepare thy, and Salaki, be thou prepared, and prepare for thyself, thou, and all thy company that are assembled unto thee. You see, and this is what the Lord telling, you know, Gog and Magog, which is Russia. He said, prepare thyself, he said, and all thy company that are assembled unto thee. And you seen what he just said, uh, Persia, which would be Iran today. And that's why it says, um, continuing on, and be thou a guard unto them. And that's why you see um, China and Russia 
back in Iran. You see, there's this hey, there's prophecy. You see that the um that Russia was going to be a guard unto Iran. You see, hey, and it's just a matter of time for uh, World War Three pop off, man. And he gonna have you know um Iran shoot off missiles, man. You know the um one of the brothers, one of the beloved brothers. You know, from my camp to Zion, he had an article where it said that um, how Iran just invented a missile that cannot be tracked. It's faster than the speed of light or some of that sort, man. It can't be tracked at all. You see, that's how fast it is. But this second edge was 15 and 28. Behold, and horrible vision and the appearance there were from the east. This is going into World War III. They say, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. <laughs> Lord ain't playing, man. These are times we're in, man. They say, also the Carmanians, raging in wrath, shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. Let me see. Definition of Carmanians. According to Wikipedia, Carmania is a historical region that approximately corresponds to the modern Iranian province of Kerman and was a province of the Achaemenid, Seleucid, Arsacid, and Sasanian Empire. You see? Right there, man. On right here on Google, man. Carmania. Hey, that's Iran today. Now I say, also the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them. Well, who? A hey, uh, their ally, Russia, uh, China, and whoever else is going to be their allies in you know in those days. You see, uh, the BRICS, BRICS versus NATO and EU. You see. And shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. And, and the Assyrians will be the Americas today. You see? Because I heard the uh, the, the beloved uh, apostle, um, the elder apostle to bring out that Assyrians are Babylonians. And where we at today? We, this is modern day Babylon, man. You see? And he shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. That's those missiles going to get shot off, man. So, hey, it's just a matter of time for all, you know, for this pop off, man. That's why you got um, Russia and China back in Iran, man. Because, hey, it's going to happen. World War Three is going to happen. So, no matter what you think or whatever, hey, your best bet is to repent. You know, ask the Lord to forgive you. Hey, change your ways and pray and hope that the Lord have mercy upon you and your household because that's what we doing, man. Hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying unto you, brothers and sisters. And with that, I want to say shalom.